what do y'all want? A shed. Oh. Super ultra, ultra mini, mini house. house. Cool. Okay. Jinx. They want a little place of their own, and I think this is a great opportunity for them and me to learn some construction skills, right? Yeah. I've never built a tiny home. Not really. And you've never built a roof. I've never built a roof. I, I don't know how to build roof trusses. I know how to roof a house, but I don't know how to build the trusses. So we're going to learn together. How about that? You guys want to learn how to do that? Yeah. So we're going to build an eight by eight uh, shed essentially, but uh, it's going to be like a chill pad for the kids and maybe some storage for them. So first thing we got to do is find our location. We picked where the Mustang was sitting right here at the top of the hill with a good view of the big ranch behind us, a view of the fire pit and the trampoline up this way. We're not gonna bother with a window on the fence side. Oh, and also, whenever like this fire is smoking you out, you can go into the house. Oh, it's like smoke refuge. Three windows, uh, one front door, and probably a metal roof. So we're gonna put it here. Right now we need to go get material. We're gonna get the material to build at least the base. Sound good? Yeah. So let's go to Home Depot or Lowe's, whoever has the best deals. So we'll see you there. Wait, there's a guy's helper. I'll catch it. Yeah, we'll just use these to build up and level. Okay. These are good finger pinchers. But you want to try? Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Can you set it down mm. without dropping that's it, like without pinching fingers? 11 pounds. They can be sharp too. You got to be careful. Yes. Yeah. Do I set on top or just? Just set it there. Yeah, they're. I don't want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> just, just let dad do the rest. So. I don't know how many we need. I'm just gonna get a bunch because if we have extra, we could use them elsewhere. Yeah. There's 17 pounds, guys. It's a good oh idea. My gosh, Daddy. I guess hey, you want to start the truck? We're gonna move the truck anyways. Yep, our kids know how to do that. It's so awesome. Who's gonna start this puppy? Good job. Bye-bye. Hey, what? Okay. It's so dirty in here. Yeah. Loaded. And my honey always gets stuck helping those sweet little old ladies. Help me. Help. We need two of these. Good job, guys. He's pushing the kids. <laughs> He's helping. Mm-hmm. I was thinking something something like that or that for the side. Yeah, it's so pretty. I'd say yes, look at that. I would just like to know you couldn't have gotten a little bit closer. I mean there's like three feet. This person would park the forklift. Yeah, you got stuck on the tire. I want to get through here. It'll fit. I can do it with one hand. I set it down. Drop it anywhere. Okay. Ooh, good job. Mine is super quiet and daddy's little like. Alright, so we're just gonna get like a, a rough shape, okay? Alright, so, does that feel good? That's, it feels pretty good. That's perfect. If we move too far this way, we'd have to cut this tree limb down. I just stomped on a fly. That's insane. We're all shoveled up. <laughs> the highest corner is that corner, right? Yes. Let's just make a flat spot there, drop a drop a paver on it, that'll be the height we'll base everything off of. I'm gonna start building that way, okay? Is that working? Let me help you? Yes.
tell you what, I'm not gonna record the rest. Let's just uh, fast forward to where we get the foundation done. You're gonna see hopefully nine uh, brick foundation points that we could build on. You could do time lapse, right? I could do time lapse. Maybe I'll do that. start screwing this thing together. Good job. All right, guys. Frame. Your border is done. Y'all ready to do the uh, yeah. thingies that go in the middle? They have a technical name, I'm sure, and I can't think of it. <laughs> Let's go with struts. You happy, Lil? Check out your base. We could start laying down plywood now. I think we could start screwing this down. What do you think? Yes! Yeah, and then get the floor. Yeah, we could get the floor next. So this is the basis of it, or the base of it. So you saying six foot walls, huh? If we go tall, I mean, we could do eight foot walls. This thing will be tall. Yeah, that would be tall. It could hit the tree, maybe. So we have a deal. How <laughs> many shutters or doors? Probably closet. You mean, like, open it like that? Pantry, closet, closet doors. Yeah. What about this door? <laughs> it looks like a bus system. Yeah, let's go out and look for windows. You know None of those big? have frames, by the way. Those all need to be in frames, and there's no there's frames here. Oh. The, the brown one here is, like, the only usable one window out here because it has a flange what about this man they have no frames they're supposed to be in frames see if this is where they slide oh. they're all just pans it's so weird can i have this one there's no back window these are these are usable these two here and they're, that one's that one's messed up they like chunked it i don't know i think we can get better deals elsewhere like watching marketplace what the rich person fancy certain things here it's it's cabinets usually Walk. <laughs> and what type of vehicle? Uh, a very long one. Okay. <laughs>
We got sheet vinyl flooring. Uh, the smallest we can get was 4x12 because it comes in 12 foot rolls. It was but, 8 uh, by 12 Yeah. 8x12, yeah, he's right. Um, that was like 90, $95 for that. And then we got another $91 worth of 2x4s to build walls. We got glue, the trowel for the glue. That was 40 bucks. We spent. Where's that glue? It's in the truck. We spent $300 today. And what did we spend yesterday? Oh, uh, like 100 something. Wait, yeah. what was it's it? It's getting expensive for like a kid's tiny home. It's it's uh, becoming a better home than our own home. And the lens is filthy. Sorry about that. Right now we're gonna screw down all the plywood. We got a bucket of these. Now I like these hex head screws. You don't ever have to worry about your bits slipping. Once you go to these, you never go back to Phillips. That's fine, baby. Okay. All right, good job, son. All right, here we are the next morning. What do you guys think? How's it look? Little bumps. Yeah, I can see Some bumps all over it. Yeah, it is really a little bumpy. So the problem with not using a heavy roller is you don't create smoothness. So it, <laughs> it is really bumpy. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't but really matter. Cause it, it doesn't matter, right? It's gonna be like, looking at it. Yeah. There's one way to learn from us. Use a roller or something if you really care about what you're doing here because just walking on it and spreading it, that, that doesn't... You know, you're adhering it good, sure, but it doesn't make a smooth finish. It's gonna be really hot on one side and really warm. Now, it doesn't have, matter how perfect this is because we're gonna cover this with... Um, Wood. The studs are gonna go here. And then, you know, it's crazy. Like, when we build our walls, I was saying we're gonna have to cut off three inches also to make them perfectly eight foot. We gotta cut off more than three inches because we want our wood, otherwise our wood would stop right here, our siding. So we want our siding to go down to like here. We want to overlap this whole seam, maybe even further, maybe two inches. So we need to cut off like six inches. We're gonna have seven and a half foot walls, but our our wood siding will finish down to here and it'll look much better. But we can still potentially use it. Oh, thank you, Sherman. You're so helpful. If there was any seam we were going to fill, it would be the seam right here. And, you know, you can feel it if you look for it. Because it, it's crazy. As perfect as you make these frames, it always seems like one piece of plywood's higher than the other, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I can feel... You might eventually find, like, a I screw like head that didn't really... That kind of yeah. stripped, you know, That's and it's sticking I was, up. I was trying to, like, drill... Get like, them down in there? Kind of deeper yeah. than normal. Try to bury them. But they were stripping out of this green... Uh, pressure treated wood too easy what do you think Sherman do you like it <laughs> yeah, Sherman's looking out into the abyss watch how high Sherman can jump Sherman jump Sherman nope Sherman high five there's a jump man unfortunately we're about $500 in and 130 of that is for the next stage which is building walls we're gonna end this video with just the base and the flooring, and we're gonna start doing walls. That'll be on the next the next video. We need to find some windows anyway. So. Look at him. He's eating grass. All right. Well, thanks for watching Texas Hillbilly Homestead. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more content. The, the next stage we'll be building walls, and uh, check out our main channel, Texas Hillbilly. Find us on Instagram, Texas Hillbilly J. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned what not to do mostly from us. And uh, and I hope you learn more next video when we attempt to build walls with no experience whatsoever on building walls. One, two, skittle a doo.